So remember, this is our direction. We want to calculate the charge looking at this equation. Q is equal to um, the mass times gravity times, which you see here, and that's equation number three. But in order that we need to find mass by using this equation. So that's equation number four. And we need to calculate the radius here by using this equation down here. Okay? So this is what we're about to calculate. We're about to calculate equation number seven. Okay? We're going to do this in um, Microsoft Excel. So we'll be going between this sheet and conversion calculators in Microsoft Excel in order to see. So the first thing that we want to put in is all of these coefficients. We want to put in B first. That's a coefficient that's given to us. And then P, that's our atmospheric pressure. And we want to make sure that that's in Pascals. We want to find eta, okay? And eta is going to be based on our temperature. And we just calculated our fall velocity. And that's going to be a positive number. It's just, it's not the, it's not the vector. It's just the fall. It's just the speed. And then we have our G, and G has been given to us. And you'll see this at the beginning of your, um, it's all of this information will be in the Moodle shell in this particular assignment. And then we have rho. And once we have that, we'll be able to calculate equation number seven. And B again is right here, and P is the same thing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. I'm going to back out a little bit. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we know what B is. And B is given right here. It's a constant, and it's equal to 8.13 uh, times 10 to the negative 8 newtons per meter. All right. So let's go ahead and put that in. I'm just going to go back to Microsoft Excel, and that's right here. So we're going to start up a new sheet. And let's call this sheet radius. <clears throat> and so the first one is going to be B, and let's make that a small b. The next one is going to be P, and that's atmospheric pressure. And then the next one it's going to be, I'm not sure, I think it's going to be, hmm, I don't know what it's going to be. Let me, let me go over and find out. So we have B and we have P, so we need eta, and we need the fall velocity there, okay? So the next thing is just going to be an eta, so I'm going to say ETA, and then we have the fall velocity, or fall speed, and then we are going to have gravity and density, so gravity and density of oil. And this is mineral oil. And the that's pretty much it. And then we'll be able to calculate A. So let's put in B. B is going to be, and let's just go over here real quick. Slide over one. Again, B is 8.13 times 10 to the negative 8. So, <clears throat> what is that? I think that was 8.13, and I'm just going to put in a capital E, and that's going to be a negative 8, I believe. Yep, Excel is accepting this, and this is in Newtons. per meter, and we want our pressure, our atmospheric pressure, to be in Pascals. So we need to make sure that this is going to be in Pascals, and Pascals are just Newtons over meters squared. Divided by meters squared. So that's going to be our Pascals. Right now we have, um, I want to convert what we have for our 
our atmospheric pressure right now. And I'm just going to say um, convert. Convert 30.08 inches of mercury to patch pascals. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. I'm using Wolfram Alpha right now. I'm just going to say go. I probably could have done this with Siri. Um, that would have been fine. Let's see if that's going to do it for me. Oh, it was coming up and I actually kind of killed it a little bit. All right, so there are our scales right there. I wish I could make it bigger, but it's 101, uh, 860 pascals. All right, so we'll just slide this over. 101, 860 pascals. Okay, let's just double check that. 101, 860 pascals. So we have that in there pretty good. Eta is a um, it is a result of our temperature. So what I need to do is I need to go way down here, and let's see. Uh, I think it's here. Oh, here's our temperature. All right, here's our scale, and here's our thermistor resistance table. And so if you remember. <clears throat> we had a resistance for this particular experiment of 2.18 mega ohms. So 2.18, so we should be able to find that 2.18, 2.16, or one, yeah, 169, that's pretty close. So it's 22 degrees centigrade, so that'll be good. So let me go ahead and go back to this. 22 is our so I'll just go over here and look at I think it was 22 Let me pull this over again what did I say oh it's on this other page uh -uh. uh, 2.18 I have 2.17 so it's 22 uh, maybe 22 and a half or something I, I will go 22 so at 22 degrees, let's go ahead and pull this over like so, and then I can just use this tablet to try to get, oh, let me go up, 22 is right here. So I'm trying to use a tablet to measure. So if I move 22 up and I move it over a little bit, this should give me what my approximate value at 22 would be. So we can see that it's 1.832, maybe 32, it's close to 324. All right, 1.832, so I'll leave it here for the moment, and then we'll just come back to it. So let me slide over to Microsoft Excel. So this is our viscosity, 1.832. Uh oh, three, two, four. Is that right? Nope, eight. Oh, three, two, three, three, four. That should be three, four. I suppose a three, two is three, four. And now let's look at the um, the units. That's Newton seconds divided by meter squared times ten to the negative fifth. So this is going to be um, E negative 5, and eta is in, what is that, Newton seconds um, divided by meters squared. So that's eta. All right. So we have quite a bit of information so far. We had to go and find it. Our fall speed has already been calculated. So I'll just go ahead and say this is equal to, and I'm going to go back to our velocities, and we have our fall, our average fall velocity, and we're going to have to make this a negative sign. 
negative times this, and I'll just pull that there. So we have our fall speed. Gravity at this location, and we can always change this, but I'm going to go ahead and put in what Derek found, and that is that this number is 9.798842. All right, and let's go back here to fall speed, and let's make sure we put our units in. This is meters per second. And then gravity, of course, is meters per second squared. Okay, so everything is spread out good enough. So the density of oil, <coughs> and we're just going to find this from our sheet here. The density of oil is going to be way at the beginning here somewhere. See if we can find it real quick. So they say mineral oil, and they actually give us the density here. It's 886 kilograms per meter cube. Remember that it's mass, density is mass divided by volume. So let's go back here. So this is going to be kilograms per meter. cubed. And we know that this is 886. So we have all of our units as standard. So we've placed in all of our information here. We're going to go ahead and calculate the radius in the next video.